Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. I just thought we'd drop this quick video in while I've got a few minutes spare uh, while I'm waiting for a, a delivery. Um, so we are of course talking RS components. Now anybody in the electrical trade uh, and in industrial trade will have heard of RS Components Limited. It's an absolutely mega um, electronic supplier. But did you know that RS Components Limited actually started off with the name Radio Spares in 1937 and that's exactly what they did. They sold spares for radios in London. Uh, they went around the shop selling spare parts. Now in later years when television became popular they also started selling parts for TVs. Now I've just brought out um, a few of my vintage RS component catalogues um, these came from a shop where I used to work as a kid in the 70s uh, and he had an account with RS um, the owner and he used to uh, get me things, he used to ring up and get me things um, so I thought let's have a look here that's July 76 uh, what's the day on that August 78 79 this is when people had proper catalogues and you didn't have to shop on the internet um, so let's just take a quick look at the back page. Uh, I mean these catalogues are actually, um, it's when the RS components were tailing off um, radio and TV parts and they were moving into industrial uh, components for factories and um, people on production lines. Um, but you can just see in the back of these catalogues the last few items uh, that appeared in these that were TV related. If we just turn a few pages over at uh, random, um, you can see that they're moving away uh, from radio and TV spares into industrial um, industrial use things. But let's just turn over to the very last page. Is it the last page? No, that's not it. Yeah, we're getting there now right so that's transformers and then if we turn over here you can see uh, parts for TVs there we've got EHT triplers uh, we've got integrated circuits we've got droppers and we've got replacement capacitors main smoothing blocks now this is only on the last two pages and that just shows uh, the shift away from the roots back into the industrial uh, industrial side but let's just take a look at some of these things here because some of these I've still got in stock um, that dropper there uh, is it for the 1500 or the 1400 I can't just remember now I've got a feeling it's the 1500 but you know I might be wrong it's a long time ago but let's just take a quick look at one of them how much was it then 82 pence and there we go, you can just about see the logo there, RS, Radio Spares. Um, yeah, that's the last section, 317 ohms. And if you remember, you didn't even have to replace all this. Um, if it was just one section that was faulty, you could get a polo mint uh, and you just linked it between these wires. Now, funny enough, I've got them in stock as well, so let's have a look at them. And here we go. Here's your RS pole on wind resistors. See that would just solder between two pins on there. Right, let's have a look at another item uh, that also appeared in this catalogue. And uh, here you have your droppers. Let's just pull one of these out. Or, better still, let's pull two out. There you can see the uh, RS logo on there. What's that, 250, 14 and 156? Oh, there we go. 250, 14, 156, Rank Bush Murphy. 51 pence that would have cost you back then. 
the part for the TV tray there, thermistor. And uh, last but not least, before we close this really quick video, you've got your EHT trays, uh, or as we used to call them, triplers, doublers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so look at, let's look at the R RBM A823. Uh, which one is it there? Yeah, RBM A823, £5.96. Now that would have been a lot of money back then. And uh, let's just get it out and have a look at it. And there you go. Still marked up RS. Radio spares components. Alright guys and girls on YouTube. I've told you this was a really quick video. Many thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.